He will not repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And then you say, look, you did this thing to me before. I didn't say anything. You have done it again, oh. You have done it again, oh. In fact, if you do it again, how will he not do it again? You did not rebuke him. You did not correct him. He didn't know he was wrong. See, the Bible is clear. How can a man keep his way clean? The Bible says by doing what? Keep taking heed to all the word of God. So your brother offends you. You didn't say anything. You just let it go. But you have it in your heart. Then he does it the second time. Then you warn him. You did it before. And you're doing it again. In fact, if you do it again, that is three times he's going to do it before you do anything. But if you rebuked him the first time, he will know, hey, he doesn't like this thing I did. And then he, he, if he is a child of God, he will repent. And then you forgive him and he, he didn't do it at all. But if you did not rebuke him, and he does it again, you may hold him guilty for doing it the second time. But God will hold you guilty for not rebuking him. So you see, the devil ties you together. I'd rather be guilty before man than before God. Huh? All right. Turn to the book of Acts, chapters 8. The book of Acts, chapters 8. We want to read verse 22. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. Now, listen, this one is a very dangerous one. Please listen. There is a thought in your heart. You have not done anybody bad. But there is a plan you have in your heart. And this plan is an evil plan. It's a bad plan. It may be a good plan. But there is a thought in your heart. That thought, only God sees it. Only God can reveal it. See? For example, here this man comes to buy the Holy Ghost money. But nobody knows why he's doing that. If you are not spiritual, you will think, hey, this man loves God so much. Can you see he even wants to give money to get the Holy Ghost? He really needs the Holy Ghost. Though. But why is he offering money? Only God sees that. Only God sees that. So, morning by morning, let us make the best use of the new mercies that God offers. Because there are many thoughts that flash through our hearts. Thoughts. Some of them we approve and we act upon them. Some of them we postpone. Some of them we uh, disagree with. But every thought, whether good or bad, that passes through our hearts, God sees it. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It is the thoughts that flash in our hearts. The ones we agree and approve, then we speak out and discuss and act upon them. So there are some thoughts that some of us may have right now that we really need to pray to God to forgive us about. Even for thinking it at all. We have not even spoken it, but we thought it. We thought that thought. We allow the devil to put that evil thought in our heart. And we allowed it, meditated over it for one hour or say 30 minutes or whatever. God sees thoughts. You may not have acted on it. You may not have practiced it. But that thought, if it is not checked, may develop into an act. That's what Peter was telling this canal man here. He said, I see you are the God of bitterness. You better pray that God, perhaps, maybe, maybe, God will forgive you. I don't know. But maybe, that's what Peter said. And these things are written for you and I. Because the heart of man is deceitful above all things. Is there a thought in your heart that only God sees right now? And only God can judge. It's left for you to make it right or let it stay there until it is judged. What am I talking about? Forgiveness. That's what purifies the heart. That's what cleanses the heart. That's what cleanses the soul. But it does not come except through repentance. 
And what is repentance? Change of heart. There has to be a change of heart. The prodigal son changed his heart. The thief on the cross changed his heart. The woman that brought oil should have poured it on herself and smelled wonderful. But she poured it on Christ. It was a change of heart. And you and I, to be able to receive the same forgiveness, we have to have change of heart. Let there be no evil thought that is in our heart as we leave the house of God today. Let us stand and let us pray. Morning by morning, new mercy I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Let us pray now, sincerely, asking God to just lead us like children, not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Let us pray. Let us pray. How can you leave this place today without complete package? Going home rejoicing. Saying like Peter, James and John, it was good that we were in this mount. Be strong and take courage. A Christian should be a Christian. A church goer should be a church goer. A child of God is a child of God. Sister, don't just close your mouth and let your heart be wandering from a jugular to somewhere else. Open your mouth and pray so that you can control your thoughts. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. You just stand there like a pillar and your mind is wandering up and down. That is not prayer. That is not prayer at all. Our God is good, isn't he? He has made a way where there seems to be no way. He has provided all that we have need of to make it. God is our victory. God is our righteousness. God is our holiness. God is our joy. God is our peace. God is our strength. God is our everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For you surely be strong for us today. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and from everlasting to everlasting, you will be strong for us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May be seated. Our God is good. God will go before us. And his life will show us the way. Amen. Be strong. Take courage. Don't be afraid. That one who lives within you, he'll be strong for you. He knows whatever you're going to face. He knows what is coming towards you. Amen. He knows what the enemy is planning. And he that is with us is greater than he that is against us. Amen. Glory be to our God. Let's give our offerings with joy.